we're going to have to divide these flocks up. They're not supposed to get overcrowded, and when the center starts to die out, that's when you need to separate them. So these are the purple ones. These are flocks. No, wait, this is be bouncing back. Flocks is the purple one. And when you divide them, you're supposed to leave three stems in each. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two over here, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on that one. Nine down there. Okay. You're coming with me. If you don't want to come, I'm not going to make you. But if you do want to come, that's what we're doing. We're going to check out all these flocks groups. This is good. This is pretty crowded here. They're beautiful, aren't they? So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 46. So you can see that if this is the clump, the center is missing. So this needs to be divided. It also needs to be weeded around. It's completely divided here from the rest of the group by the weeds. Okay, and now we have some more on this side. See, the center must be kind of died out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we have a little bit over here, and we probably had them in between there. Alright, are there any more flocks over here? I kind of don't think so. Let's just have a look at all the daylilies. Since we're out here, Priscilla's something, what was it called? Priscilla's Rainbow. And do I have any flocks down there? In the valley? I don't see any. Okay. So there's this one patch and that patch behind the nine bark. This is nine bark here. And the lilac. So this clump definitely needs to be dealt with, as does this one. This two. And we need something at the front of the house. Doesn't quite look right here. So two groups, three groups. All right, and then I think there are more groups in here. Not down that way. Okay, four. Now this looks like a new group that there's nothing around. It looks like it's doing pretty well, but there are a whole lot of stems in there. So four. Oh, look at it. So that was four. Okay, here's some more down here. Five. This part of the garden gets very annoyed, ignored. Six. Seven. 
seven, somewhere down here. Oh, I see. The plants have all fallen over here. What was it, seven? You know, these would look good at the very back along the house. Uh-oh, a raindrop. Seven. Another clump. Eight. They like shade to partial sun. So a lot of this part of the garden back here would be okay for them. And here's one more. Eight. Okay, so we have eight sets of garden flocks that can be divided. I don't think there's any over here on some of this hillside. No, there aren't any. And there aren't any down there in Nancy's spa. Okay, so that's good. Eight clumps that I can work with. I'll do that tomorrow. All righty then. Oh wait, that's eight. This is over here is nine. Nothing grows well under a cedar because the roots are too thick. So that's why there's not much working here. All right, you can do this at home. Bye.